Hello everybody, Mobius1 here bringing you the next episode of Ace Combat 4. This is mission number 5, Lifeline. Converse Harbor, home of the Acre Fleet, is completely dependent on a single petrochemical complex for its fuel supply. The complex consists of a land-based oil refinery storage facility and an offshore oil drilling platform. Your mission is to go out and destroy, or at least damage, these sites. Our objective is to reduce production output of this complex to 20% or less. By cutting off the port's fuel supply, we will delay and disrupt the combat deployment of the Ager fleet. Alright, so what I like about these missions is each mission is kind of, you know, a different style. Like the past couple missions were air-to-air, -air, so this is going to be both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. Um, but you can also kind of see like the grander scale of what's going on. So in the last mission, we took out a cargo fleet that was bringing supplies to this um, naval fleet. And now we're going to be attacking a fuel depot or um, a fuel refinery, I guess, of um, a petrochemical complex, it says. I guess there's like there's some oil rigs out in the ocean as well as a refinery on the shore. Um, that is supplying fuel to this naval fleet that we're essentially just trying to prevent from being able to leave the harbor. And I believe the mission after this will be attacking the fleet directly, but this is the next step to make sure that when we do launch our attack on the harbor that the fleet will be there. We need to deprive them of their fuel. So we can see here we've got some targets in the ocean. Um, and then again we have the refinery or I guess depot on the coast. And a couple of air targets guarding each of those. We'll check our buy options, but I don't think we're going to be getting anything. No, we just only have the F5 still. So this is good. This is why in the last mission we bought the guided uh, air-to-surface missiles for the F16, because we're going to be using those in this episode. So we're going to go with those. Mission objectives, score at least 2,000 points within the time limit and continue to destroy enemy forces. So... Unlike the previous episodes, there is no, like, target that we need to destroy. There are a couple missions like this where we just need to blow up as much stuff as we can before time runs out. So in this particular episode, we need at least 2,000 points, but that's only going to get us, like, a low grade. In order to get that S rank that we're really striving for, we need to destroy much more than that. So let's do it. Commence operation. Split into two groups and destroy targets. Inflict as much damage as possible to the complex and reduce their output. Alright. We need to be quick. Be calm and give it your best shot when the enemy arrives. It's a tanker. I'm still no joy. We'll be seeing a welcoming party any minute now. So aircraft are worth quite a few points. So, oh, sorry, we'll use this cockpit view. Um, if we can take out a good number of aircraft, that's going to be really worth our time. Nice. Okay. We'll go for the uh, we'll go for the oil rig first. Maybe they are down here. Uh, we'll go for the aircraft first. That way they're not on us. Shoot, those missed. Those are going to miss too. Oh, one hit. But not enough. Okay. Alright. I'll start going for the uh, the rig. Fox two, Fox two. Enemy facility destroyed. Surface target destroyed. Enemy facility destroyed. I want to try and get as many targets in one area as I can before I move on. Alright, 
Damn, this control room. The towers keep blocking it. But it's worth 60 points. That should do it. Got it. Okay. We're gonna move on to the next group. There's some AA guns. Where'd that missile come from? Alright, see, I can see the missile on the radar, so I know what launched it. So there is a SAM site right there. We'll take that out. So I'm using a combination of guns and missiles to try to conserve missile ammo. I say that as I just waste four missiles on this MIG. Six missiles on the MIG. Alright, so there's another MIG behind me. This might be the first episode where we have to go back and rearm. Alright, we're wasting too much time. Alright, we've used all of our air-to-surface missiles. Man, these guys are right on me. Alright, got one. I'm gonna take out some ground targets while we reorient ourselves. Oh, I really was hoping to get that tower. Come on. That should be good. Good, got him. Alright. There's still some MIGs over there, but we should be. Relatively safe to finish this off. Damn, alright, we missed the crane. Oh wow, even the crane is worth 60 points? Alright, we gotta go back for this. Oh, it's a tower. How did that not blow that up? I'll have to use a missile on that. Crane with guns. Alright, there's some aircraft above us now. I have seven missiles left. Uh, Alright, well, we've actually accomplished our goal already. We've got 23,000 or 2300 points, so mission is success, but we only have a C rank right now. I'm going to take out a couple more aircraft, and then we're going to return and rearm. We've got three and a half minutes left before the mission's over, so we got to try and get that S rank. Alright, we got one missile left. We should, we should start heading south. Honestly, I shouldn't even engage this guy. I should just go rearm. Oh, I hit him though. We just gotta finish him off with guns. Missile. 
Got him! Nice! Alright, we're out. We gotta go south. We gotta rearm. Two and a half minutes. We can. We got a B rank now. We can do it. We gotta go rearm, and then we'll hit the uh, we'll hit the refinery on the shore, and we should be able to get up to an S rank. It's gonna be close. Come on, we're almost there. We're gonna have. Just over two minutes. Mobius one, perform landing check. You are cleared to land. Two miles to touchdown. One mile to touchdown. Slow down, speed's too high. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus, that was a rough landing. That was a very rough landing. Doesn't matter. We're in a hurry. We're in a hurry. Come on. Nicely done, Mobius One. Go and prepare for your next sortie. Let's go. Okay. Uh, we don't need to change weapon. We like we like what we got. Mobius One, you are cleared for takeoff. And an un unrestricted climb. Let's go. Altitude restrictions canceled. Return to your mission, Mobius. <laughs> All right, we're in a hurry. Oh, they put us right back in where we exited too. All right, we got to go way this way. We're gonna drop to the deck. Pick up some speed. We got a minute and fifty seconds. We have to get in there. We got to hit this base hard. We're gonna use our secondary missile, or our secondary weapons, the air-to-surface missiles. Try to hit as many as expensive targets as we can all at once. Actually, it looks like there might be a tanker over here. Bennett confirmed at vector two eight zero. Oh, that's the F sixteen. No, we're not going for them. Refinery in vector two nine zero eight miles. Heads up, enemy radar spike. I'm not. I'm not concerned with those. Here's the refinery. Enemy facility destroyed. Box two. Enemy facility destroyed. All right, we're up to an A. We got 44 seconds left. Still at an A. 30 seconds left. Oh, tw I don't know. This is going to be close. Shit, five seconds. I don't think we're gonna get an S. Oh, damn. We just missed S. Wait a minute, it's not over. What's going on? Mobius one heavy group hot. Appears to be five targets in the group. Can we still get points? Oh crap, that's not good. Oh, it's the yellow squadron. Well, if I take one out, do I get points for taking them out? Well, wait a minute. I don't know if we can take these guys on, though. It says he's worth 150 points. 
We have three minutes, and we gotta cross that return line in three minutes. Damn, I don't I really don't know if we can get these guys. Oh shoot, we just got hit. We're down to four, we got 44% damage. No, I don't think we can hit these guys cuz I didn't hit I didn't get any um hits with the gun run. What about these though? No, the ground targets aren't giving us points anymore. Damn, I think we're SOL on the S rank. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna go head on with this guy. No, I'm sure those missiles just went right through him. I don't think you're supposed to engage him in this. Alright, well, we'll have to concede on our perfect S rank missions. But we're out. Was it Yellow Squadron guarding Stonehenge? We are out. Where's that return line? Come on. You got 55 seconds? Alright, now we made it. We made it, no problem. Whew. Picture is clear. Bandits are down or no factor. All aircraft, RTB. The enemy lost 5 million barrels of reserves and the ability to process 250,000 barrels of crude oil daily. The Aegir fleet is effectively immobilized and no longer a threat. Unfortunately, right. our losses were high as well. We now rely on your skills more than ever to compensate for our losses. It's so cool watching the little like replay in the background. This is why we didn't get that S rank, because I spent way too much time trying to dogfight that guy. If we'd have just ignored the aircraft and focused entirely on the ground targets, we probably would have pulled it off. Anyway. Alright, so we got an A. It's not bad. We're over half a million credits now, so maybe we'll be able to buy a new aircraft next episode. But, oh. A freeway under construction in a wheat field outside of town. When they started construction, I remember how the mayor bragged about it, even though it would completely bypass our town. The freeway became the occupation force's makeshift runway, and the unfinished tunnels their bunkers. This was their base. They were the elite flight squadron chosen to protect the cannon. Ironically, the same cannon that was created to shoot down the asteroids became a catalyst to the war. But when the Allied attacks no longer came, the squadron was assigned long-range missions that took them to distant battlefields. The voice in, in these cutscenes is not loud enough for the music. I thought of the words I would use to confront him and bided my time. Is that a gun? Although I harbored these feelings no. within me, I could never get close to him. His wingman was always by his side. Despite having a gentle demeanor, I could tell that the wingman would never allow danger to get near Yellow 13, even on land. 
the pillar of their group, Thirteen exuded an air of invincibility. He always chose to fly a five-plane formation. He was a man who prided himself not on his kill record, but on his record of never losing a squadron member. It's difficult for me to describe just how good Yellow 13's flying was, but I witnessed it once from the ground. The lead plane of the five-plane formation should have turned the same arc with the same timing as the others. Yet only his plane drew sharp contrails. Chemtrails. Chemtrails confirmed. His heart felt compassion towards the weaker enemies he downed. Someday, if an equal appeared and challenged the limits of his skills in a fight, he would bear no resentment about being shot down. He said this himself. And so as time passed, I found the goodness of a home in their company. Leaving them was no longer an option for me now. Well, maybe one day we will be that person that he was talking about. All right, that's going to be the end of this episode. Like I said, we're over half a million credits, so we're going to find something to spend those on. But that's going to have to wait. Thank you guys for watching. Obvious one here. <laughs> See you in the next one.